Juan Ponce de Leon, a daring Spanish explorer, set sail in 1513 on a perilous journey in search of new lands to conquer for the Spanish crown. His destination? A legendary land said to be home to a miraculous fountain that granted eternal youth and healing to those who drank from its waters. Ponce de Leon and his crew of 200 men sailed for weeks. Their senses heightened by the salty smell of the sea, the feel of the wind in their hair, and the sound of creaking wood beneath their feet. They saw land in the distance as they approached the east coast of what is now Florida, and their hearts swelled with joy. They made landfall on a pristine beach near present-day St. Augustine, but possibly near Melbourne. It is still up for debate. The explorer noticed a sea of flowers blooming all around him and named the land La Florida in honor of its flowery beauty. He could taste the salty sea breeze on his lips and hear the waves crashing against the shore, a symphony of sound that filled his heart with wonder. Ponce de Leon and his crew encountered native tribes with skin as brown as the rich earth beneath their feet. As they communicated with the natives through hand gestures and smiles, the explorers felt the heat of the sun on their faces and the prickly sensation of sweat on their skin. They came across a plethora of wildlife, including slithering snakes, sleek panthers, massive alligators with glowing eyes in the murky waters. Ponce de Leon and his crew returned to Puerto Rico after several weeks bearing tales of their exploits and claiming the land for Spain. But the explorer's quest was far from over. He returned to Florida in 1521, determined to establish a settlement and conquer the territory for his king. The native tribes, on the other hand, were not about to give up their home without a fight. Ponce de Leon found himself in the middle of a fierce battle, his senses overwhelmed by the clash of swords, screams of the injured, and the odor of gunpowder. Ponce de Leon, wounded and weakened, retreated to Cuba. His dream of conquering La Florida, however, persisted, and his legacy paved the way for future Spanish colonization of the region. Florida remained a Spanish colony for over 300 years until it became a U.S. territory after being ceded by Spain to the United States in 1819 as a part of the adams Onis Treaty. These are interesting things with J.C.